Hello, today we're going to be reviewing the Studio Series, uh, I don't know the number, I want, I don't know, uh, Studio Series, Bumblebee Movie Shockwave, uh, maybe like 106, I have no, oh wait, no, that's, oh, whatever, uh, maybe 108, I don't know, crazy, uh, but this is Shockwave, uh, the Bumblebee Movie Shockwave, also, if you see that his optic is painted a little bit, uh, I painted that, because the light piping, I did not like it, it was horrible, it came from up here, that was horrible, uh, but I do have a shot. I did take a picture before, like an awesome, like a picture to where he had the light piping before, and I'll show that up right here right now. So, yeah, that's how it looked. He looked, it was pretty cool. I just found like how it came from above instead of coming from the back. I feel like the back would have been a lot better, but it came from the little slot up here, and that's good. But it's Shockwave, and now Shockwave had a lot of uh, weird, con not controversy, but weird stuff i got this guy back in may so it's been like i've had this guy for like a while but he did have some sort of like not controversy but just weird uh posability because he has he doesn't have bicep swivel he has like just regular not regular but like, he doesn't have the usual uh bicep swivel he has i don't know what they call it maybe it's forearm i don't know but he has below the elbow so so i guess like maybe elbow so but he has that and a lot of people don't like that they're like why the hell does he have that well to be honest it's not bad and honestly i think it makes it better to to have the to to use the the cannon because i think it's a lot better that he has this has that instead of an actual bicep swivel. I mean, it sucks. Yeah, they doesn't have bicep swivel. But it still doesn't mean he can't rock a pose. He's still good at pose posing. That's awesome. I like that. And then there's also, there's also some more, like, random pose ability. There's thigh rotation. But then there's, there's below the thigh rotation. Like, D? E swivel? Thigh? It's weird. But he can still rock a pose. He can still do good, good, good posing. But I just don't know what other pose to get him in. Because he doesn't really have a pivot. He does not really have a pivot. Because most of the time, it's going to be like this. That'll be most of the time. And it's, it's like, very limited. There's, like, nothing. I mean, but there's toe bend, too. But you can you can get him into good poses. That's what I'm trying to say. You can still get him into good poses. But it might be a little bit hard to get him into good poses. But it's, it, it's still, you can still do it. It's not bad. You can still do it. But... This figure is ultimately pretty good. I like it. I'm so glad I have one because I, I don't have a shockwave in the collection. I was kind of planning on getting the Earth Spark one, but I didn't like how small it was. It was very, it was a deluxe. So yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be small. And there's no like different size classes for Earth Spark, so I was like, I'm gonna wait on this. And then I heard there's also gonna be the the Reach in the Dark of the Moon one, which I'm like, yep, yeah. uh, next year. So that'll be cool because I think this this is a nice shockwave. But then that shockwave looks pretty cool as well. So that's cool. Um, this is just the the like an upscale of the core class basically, but in Voyager pricing and a little bit, they're mostly the same transformation and everything. Everything's all the same. Hand. I'll go get, I'll go get the get them for a comparison. Yeah, here he is. They're practically the same from back to back. The cannon is the same. The chest, the the head, the arms, the legs, the, the feet. Everything is the same. It's just upscaled. And I loved this, this this core class. I loved him so much. He was my favorite. And I loved flipping him back and forth. It was so good. So just picture his transformation, but upscaled. It's amazing. I'm so glad that they did that. Because why why ruin perfection? You, there's no point in ruining perfection. And that's amazing. But he has a lot more posability. And it's a lot more fun. He also has ratchets. He has... In and out ratchets. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna take off the cannon. Oh yeah, this is how the cannon looks. That's cool. It comes with a little tube. You can pour it into the back, into one of these holes. You can put in either or, and the hand. So basically what you have to do is flip in the hand. And you just gotta take this out. Flip it in. I'm just gonna take it off, put the hand out. But yeah, basically that's, that's just how you tab it on. And then you see this this little tab right here. This little tab will tab into there. So, yeah. But yeah, it's just, this is just amazing. This was amazing, and I freaking loved it. 
It was so good. So I'm so happy they did not change it at all. Because why ruin it? It was perfect, and it's just amazing. So yeah, there's no point in ruining it, and I'm glad. And I sort of like this purple a lot more, but this purple has grown on me. It looks weird on camera because my camera will auto-change the colors if my hand gets in the way. It'll start turning blue. But when my hands are in the shot, that's how purple would look. But it looks a lot better in person. But the camera is weird. My camera is weird. Uh, so, yeah. But let's actually get into the posability and stuff. Even though this figure is amazing. Well, minus just some of the stuff that I talked about. He also has weathering. They put weathering on him. I did not do that. They automatically put it on him. There's some on the thigh. There's some on the chest. Up here. It's not very visible on camera. But you can you can see it better in person. But you can, you can see some of that. Some on the arm too. It's not very visible with my camera. Maybe others can pick it up. Also, yes, he does have an Autobot symbol. Because I think he used Optimus Prime's model. If I'm, if, I'm, if I'm correct. I don't know. I can't remember. Also, he also has wrenched in knees. Like, like somewhat ratcheted in knees. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he did use Optimus Prime's model. I think that's the firm might have heard. So, he has the Autobot symbol. Which I think it's a nice detail. That's a nice that's a nice detail that they added. So yeah, I'm so happy that we have an actual topic. But let's get into the actual articulation stuff. So the head is just normal. It'll go I think it's maybe on a mushroom pick. I don't know. But can somewhat look up. Maybe it is on a boulder, I have no idea. But it can somewhat look up. I mean you can force the up, but I would not. But it can move down a little bit. It can look somewhat. But he of course his head can go all the way around. Um, so in and out, ratchet, 90 degree bend, and then his arm can go up, but if you rotate this, you can get something if you want to, and it'll just tab into there. Also ratcheted, uh, knee, not knee, uh, elbow. Uh, of course we got this weird swivel, which I think it's a lot, it's not the best, it's not a good bicep swivel, but it's not as good as a bicep swivel, but it does the part, especially for this. And then uh, his wrist can uh, rotate because it's on a ball joint. So, yeah, I'm happy they had wrist rotation. Uh, we have wrist rotation as well. Thigh rotation. Below, like above maybe the knee swivel. I don't know. Uh, his, like, kick back pretty far. Kick, move. kick forward. Not as far. And in and out, too. And a little bit of a pivot. Just a little bit. And now you've been at the... Me. So yeah, that's pretty cool. He's still posable. We still get him into some good poses. Um, but yeah, I'm just, this is just so cool to have in the collection. I do also have Strong Streaker. He came with it. I don't have a uh, side swipe because I don't. I didn't really like it. Um, I might pick it up later, but I don't. I don't really know. Like, I don't really want side swipe. It's just me personally. Uh, he does look cool though. I do like him, but I don't think I'll get him. I think I'll wait on him for a little bit. What is on my? Hang on. <laughs> Alright, but that's time to get into some compar bleh, comparisons, so, yeah. Here we have him alongside the Ratchet. Um, this Ratchet is actually pretty good. I like this. I like the transformation, but mine is super loose, and I can't really fix I don't know how to fix it. Maybe someone else on the internet can fix it. Can tell me how to fix it, but I really can't unpin it and like, do something because it's capped. I don't know how to work with cat pins, and it might cost me a lot of shit. So, I can't really fix it. I'm so... I feel... So, I, I I hate that. But it's okay. But yeah, there are the two side, side by side. And then back to back. Of course, this is Deluxe. Not a Voyager. This is a Deluxe. And I'm glad that all of them are Deluxes, because they probably will be the same height. And all. So, yeah. And then here are them alongside the, the Wheeljack. Um, he's actually, he's also pretty loose, uh, but of course they're on deluxes, but I can fix him, because these are ball joints, I can just put nail polish and they'll thicken up, or tape, they'll thicken up, but I think nail polish will work better, even though it might fuck it up, no, sorry, but they, they were side by side, and then they are back to back, so they probably must be, almost likely be the same to other deluxes, so, yeah, 
And here we have him alongside Sunstreaker. I love this figure. I love him so much. He is, a I believe, a Bumblebee model because the feet look like bronze and Bumblebees. So I think they're all... Oh, that's, that's a Bumblebee model. So, yeah. Then there are... They, they were side by side. Now they're here. They are back to back. View will be coming soon. I love him. He's so good. Pick one up if you have it, because he's definitely worth it. He's a good figure. GameStop. Check your GameStops, because they'll most likely be there. Um, let's check online GameStops. Not sponsored, because I don't get sponsorships. But definitely find. Go to GameStop. This is where I got both of these. So yeah, just GameStop. GameStop's the best. I just realized. Uh, yeah, GameStop's the best. If you if you're hunting for like these new Bumblebee stuff. GameStop. No one ever goes to GameStop. I should give me that secret. This is how I got probably most of my new figures. So, yeah. And here we have them alongside the Rise of the Beast Bumblebee. I don't really have any other movie Bumblebee. I really want some. Uh, but I really want Jeep B. But Jeep B, oh my god, it's so much money. And I am not very liquid right now. I'm being serious. I have zero bucks. I'm trying to save up for the Shattered Glass Magnus. That's my next one. I'm not really buying any of the new stuff. I mean, I might buy that Megatron. You know, I'm on a big shop, yeah. There they are, side by side. There they are, back to back. So, yeah. But uh, I'm debating on either getting... If I can get the Magnus first, and then I can save it for the Soundwave and the Armada Megatron. The, or, sorry, not Armada Mar Megatron, Armada Galvatron. That would be cool. So, there they were. Here we have them alongside Optimus Prime. The Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime, because I don't have... Studio Series 38. I really want Studio Series 38. It's going to be coming this fall, next fall. Well, this fall, actually, not next fall. But that's another one that's definitely on my list to get there because I really like the gun for it. It looks like if it were... Uh, what is it? Uh, what's the term? What's the word? If movie and G1 spliced together, that's exactly what all the Bumblebee movie stuff was. But yeah, definitely. I really want that figure. Ah, so... Here they are side by side. There they are back to back. Practically the same. Practically almost. Yeah, there they are. And then here we have them alongside the sound wave. Um, I love this figure. <laughs> I don't like his all mode. His all mode's trash, but I love the just the way he looks. He looks so good. But yeah, here they are side by side. They're almost practically the same height. Of course, Shockwave is a little bit taller, but and then here they are back to back. But yeah, there they are. Now let's get into the transformation of the figure. And so to start this transformation, what you want to do is get to the, the hands, pop the pop the, the treads out, and flip them in. Do the same thing for the other side. Also, it's looking like it's blue. I hate that. I hate my camera. Uh, then what you want to do, rotate the arms and tab them in. Do the same thing. Let's not tab again. Tab it. Let's not tab again. There. And now, go to the arms and these little tabs, little tabs and ports right here, little tabs together. Boop. Why aren't they, why aren't they going? Why isn't it going in? Okay, there we go. There he is. Now go to the other side. Shimmy the legs up as you would do with your core class. Now go to the legs. I always have the treads up, but how they'll be. It'll be like this, so rotate and flip up, then flip the feet down and in. Not going in, there we go. What you wanna do, grab the chest, and grab it from down here so I can untap it, and bring it all the way down. And they'll tab in to these ports here. And then the chest will tap in. And then, of course, the legs will tap into the chest. Boop. Boop. And then grab this piece and it'll flip in and flip the head in. And then, what you want to do, where is it? Grab the gun. Bring it forward. I don't know if you actually have to, have to bring it forward to make it fit, even though it's going to fit either way. But what you want to do. Grab this little piece. I can't really do it with my thumb because I just cut it very short because I couldn't get this something out of it, so I'll use this one. Okay. And then this will tab into this little port up here. And then grab the tube and port it back 
into. It will most likely come off. Yeah, because I don't like how they just say that. And there he is. Exactly like this, motherfucker. Like, like just, just look. Let me bring this out. Exactly the same. It's exactly the same except for the head and arms are a little bit different. But it's all exactly the same. So yeah. The only difference, arms, because the, these arms tap into the chest, and but these tap into the thighs. Into the thighs, and of course the head is different. Instead of having to tab the gun into the head, you move the head down and port it. So that's the only difference. And that's amazing. Of this, I absolutely love this. This core class, you know, I love this. Uh, I don't really have any problems with it. It's amazing. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. If you don't have one, get one. Because it just looks so good. But let's get into the old mode comparisons. So, yeah. Dude, my microphone changed. I'm so sorry. Um... Here I'm alongside the Ratchet. Also, I won't be doing Soundwave because I hate that transformation. I absolutely despise it, but I love the robot mode. But yeah, here he is alongside the Ratchet. And then the Sun Shrieker. I adore this design. The Sun Shrieker. And then here I'm alongside the Wheeljack. Street Series Wheeljack. And yeah. Here we have him alongside the Rise of the Beast, the Bumblebee. And then here we have him alongside the Rise of the Beast, Optimus Prime. My voice cracks. So, so yeah, that will conclude today's review. Hope you guys enjoyed. I really like this figure. I really think you should pick up this figure. This figure is pretty good. Um, I know pose like just some pose posability might not be great, but it can still do some good poses. Uh, but yeah. That's all I got to say. Uh, sorry for disappearance. That was, will still be happening, but I've just been not wanting to do stuff. I just want to enjoy everything. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.